Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. We gotta try to figure out where these things are going in and out. I think I'm about to go through the upstairs floor to get them. I can sure feel the breeze off of them. going in under this corner here back into there it's a bedroom upstairs bedroom we're going to, have to pull some trim and floor up back here uh, it's not being used hadn't been used in a long time it's just storage five minutes in and I'm sweating too bad to see <laughs> special guest appearance of my son helping me out today You like beekeeping? Nope. <laughs> Surprised you can't already hear it rumbling. I could hear them when I got down there. I could see them. They start right about here. They're in this much space. It's still nailed. It's not under the wall, it's just nailed. They were quiet before. I just ripped that board up. Now we can hear them. Goodness gracious. Uh, that's gonna be fun. Alright, plan of action. We're gonna have to bust that board loose, swing it around, flip it over, and Cut that comb off. Just figured out we're not working with a full eight foot board here, I don't think. So we're going to stand this up on the wall and work it right where it's at. If we can do it without destroying the paneling. They smell really, really good. And the comb looks good too. Getting them out of that insulation is going to be a little chore. Holy smokes. Look at that snake skin in there. <laughs> that's where that, I bet you that's where that snake was living that I got off her truck the other day. Because it won't fall through the ceiling, but I will, so I gotta use the wood. Go ahead and fire it up. I've never seen a honeybee fight a dead dirt diver before. This one's tearing him up, though. <laughs> no. Dirt Dobber's got him in an ankle lock. Oh, he just turned it. He's got his back. This is better than the Mayweather Pacquiao fight by far. <laughs> this is Planet Dirt Rooster, the judgment free zone. Not. Go ahead. We'll make fun of you faster than you make fun of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honey, 
come home. Just in time. Just before what? I mean, if we'd made it way much longer, it would have been full of honey. It'd been a real mess to take out. Some good stuff there. Oh, nectar and pollen. This is the second hive. Uh, there was one right here before. You can see where it was. Mm -hmm. Think it died off when they cleaned it up? Or? No. Somebody had to come cut that up? No, nobody cut it out. It probably died and roaches and mice and whatever else could get in here and got it. You don't see a queen, do you? That's it. Found a queen in that one me and Papa did this morning. Let me go back and look at the bees off this side real quick. <laughs> No queen, go for a ride. <laughs> Workers right here are emerging. Don't want to lose all that new brood. <laughs> Filter on this thing's about gone. Yeah, I know. Need some back. Getting into some, getting into some honey, honey, honey. Don't you, honey? Won't you open that door? Let's get them something work on down there while we're waiting. While they're waiting on the vacuum.
Overloaded. And it was about to fall and I got stung trying to grab it. Queen, I didn't even want it. All that trouble for nothing. <laughs> got it though. Didn't fall down in there. I'm about to cut them up into shorter pieces. They're too heavy. You know, dying some sugary deliciousness. <laughs> Give me some back power. I'm surprised there's still room to hum in there. <laughs> in that cage. Uh -huh. <laughs> Somebody just lost their life. <laughs> Somebody. That's how you sucked up the coin because they don't know where to go now. Yeah, probably did. <laughs> One gets in the head. She was trying to. She got me on the thumb. <laughs> I was wanting you back. I thumped off. And made her mad. She got me in the thumb. <laughs> that one flew over there toward the window. done with the cut out that hole where the bees were coming and going I stuffed with this filter material that we use for uh, doing trap outs and blocking hive entrances we're removing and stuff this other hole where the snake is coming and going I don't know if he's in here anymore but I'm just glad he wasn't in there when we pulled that board up because I had a ski daddled quick but if I don't plug that hole next swarm comes along is gonna smell this and they're going to hunt around and find this entrance and they're going to come in there and they they did we moved a, the hive was in that void right there there's an old hive from years back it was in this void so next would be this one so i got to plug this up and make sure there's no way for them to get in or i will be coming back probably for free next time that's it floor's back down 
carpet's going to be changed out and the baseboard will go back when the carpet goes in. Right at dark. Huh? Yeah, we're going to leave the baseboards out here and let the carpet man do them. She said what she's having right now. Here's an upstairs front porch view. Country home. Got a couple of neighbors, but mostly woods and creeks and rivers. <laughs>